Uh, hello guys, uh, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to put teleporters in UDK. Uh, the first thing is to go to the content browser and go to actor classes, then come down to the navigation tab and just click that drop down. Then come down to teleporter, click on that and pick the second one, just UT teleporter. Then just drag that in and drag a second one in as well. We can close that. Just drag this over here. Now we press F4 with one selected to get into its properties. And you see I already have the drop downs open, but you need to open the teleporter drop down and the object drop down. Now the UT tag, the tag here, I recommend you change that. Change it to something like 1, it's just good. And then you can change the URL to 2. And I'll tell you why we did that in just a moment. Uh, we'll just close these properties and we'll select the other teleporter and we press F4 to get into its properties. And I already have them open. We're going to change the tag on it to 2 and we're going to change the URL to 1. Uh, the reason we change the tag is just so it's a bit more memorable. And the reason we, the reason we put the URL in as 1 is because now it is linked to the teleporter with a tag as 1. The first one. See? So now if we just rebuild paths and play the game. There we go. The teleporters are working. We just go through and we pop through them. And I'll show you just a bit uh, more definite example of that. I'll drag this one up onto this platform that I've already pre-created on this level. I'll just go into my brush views and zoom in. There we are. I'll just drag it a bit over it. There we go. See, it's a bad size. It's like path nodes. They must be just a slightly above the ground so that they will actually work. And we'll just rebuild pathing again. Okay, good. And we'll press play. And we'll walk through our teleporter. And you see, we've teleported up to this balcony. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And check out more videos on the online design teacher YouTube channel. Thanks.